Hello and welcome to Actors Den. For this video, I'm going to be your tutor. My name is Emeka Idika Praise, and I'll teach you everything you need to know as regards preparing your shit for architecture, construction, and working drawings. Starting from floor plans to sections to elevations. So stay tuned. I wanted to note something on Revit 2023 to be precise. If you've placed a view on a sheet it has this form of um, drop down here and also on this project browser any view that has been placed on a sheet has like a blue tick beside it we've already imported our sheets once you import a sheet it comes in and appears as unnamed and it follows the subsequent sheet number that already exists if there's nothing there it has 000 so but to rename a sheet you just right click rename and you can see as indicated on the screen you can rename the number or change the name of the sheet itself but well this is ground floor plan i'll just add dimension i'll just add dimension to it uh basically because in architecture construction and working drawing there are different kinds of floor plans we have the dimension floor plan we have the finishes floor plan the furniture and tax floor plans the reflected ceiling plans as well for the sake of the video we'll just be focusing on dimensional floor plan to drop a view on a sheet you just need to click and drag as you can see this view is quite wide so i would use the crop view feature crop view feature allows you to eliminate the things you don't want to be seen on that sheet now by clicking the show crop view feature the line appears and i can be able to adjust it to however i wish no this line is not always four corner if you double click on it it appears in pink and you can use the line to to draw whatever shape you want but i've been able to eliminate most of the things i don't want to see the ground floor is still appearing in presentation mode so i will have to make some quick adjustment and i'll take you through it quickly this note that was supposed to be on sheet is how it appears. You can't really do anything until you activate the view by double clicking. First of all, I put off the shadow and you know, you put off the color scheme by clicking none. This way, the whole presentation view disappears. It's very pertinent that you change the representation of your walls to appear architecturally. So you quickly just type VG and you go down to walls and you know, change it from solid field to any of the diagonal shades you prefer. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will just go with brick walk. You can also change the line width here. We we'll change it to 5. As you can see, the representation of the walls have changed already. Now, as you can see, the section line is out of the sheets. So you have got to adjust it backwards into the sheets as you want it to have here when printed. Currently, this drawing is on the scale of 1 to 100 and it's looking a little bit small on the sheet. So, we may decide to you know, change the scale to something else. I change it to I change it to 50 and it's looking too big. So, we could change it to you know, 75. By using custom, you can be able to put in whatever scale you want. Originally, um, originally Revit has its own you know, standard scale. So with 75, as you can see, the drawing is a little bit more well placed. You have to adjust the section line again to fit into the sheets. And, you know, I normally do not prefer my section line to cut across my plan as it may appear ambiguous or distracting when printed. Now, as you can see, we still have our color legend here, so you just simply delete it. And yes, our sheets, our view has been placed on sheets. You can now turn off the field crop region, and this is what you have. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to drop a comment in the box below. Do all well to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In subsequent videos, I'll be showing you how to detail and dimension your floor plans for architectural working drawings.